Yesenia, and I'm really happy to be able to welcome you back to Musicos de Handawea. Today in, st in studio, we have Heaven Sound. Welcome, everybody. And to start off, we're going to ask John for our initial prayer. All right. Everybody at home, if we can uh, put ourselves in the presence of the Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Gracious God, thank you for another wonderful day that we're here live in the midst of all this tragedy around us. You're here blessing us with this opportunity to share a little bit about our worship, a little bit about our story, and I ask you to guide us through tonight. Everybody that sees us at home right now or later, whenever you guys see this, I hope and pray that God is blessing each and one of you guys individually in a uniquely way. And bless. Um, Mother Mary, I ask you to cover us with your mantle and just keep interceding for us because we need all the prayer that we can get. So thank you. And we say this in your name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, John, so much. So Heaven Sound, we are very happy to have you here in our studio today. We're very excited to get to know about who you are. So Jesse, why don't you start telling us how did this band come about? What was the beginning? What is Heaven Sound? So Heaven Sound actually consists of our drummer Andrew, a singer Maria, our bass player Jonathan, myself Jesse as the singer and guitarist, and we're actually missing one more person, a singer, her name is Melissa. And basically this is a young adults group that was composed together with um, a fire within us that really urges and wants to spread the love of God through music. You know, just looking around at our generation, we see a lot of our generation that's more indoors, more tech. What better way can we reach to them? Can we what better way can we spread the gospel but through music and through singing and through praising through our Lord Jesus Christ. So we're just here to just gather, not just ourselves, but to gather everybody, you know, in person or virtually, wherever you are. If you're hearing our music, know that we made and written a lot of these songs in hopes to inspire you to feel God's presence. How is it that you all met? How is it that the band came about? So the band came about actually um, about, I want to say about two years ago, uh, April 2018. Um, we actually are a part of a young adults ministry called SOAR Los Angeles. And when that ministry uh, started, we looked around ourselves and we were the leaders, right? We were the leaders of this group and we said, well, we need to provide music. How can we provide music? And so we started looking around at ourselves and at our resources and we realized that we're the leaders of tomorrow. So we got together and we started singing and praising and learning, um, not just because I'm actually coming from a Spanish, a Spanish parish where I'm used to going to my Spanish uh, on Sunday Spanish Mass, you know, and uh, so coming into this group, I knew no English songs whatsoever, no English Christian music. Um, and so, and just really, each and every one of us brought something to the table, something special. And we all just came together, thank God, through SOAR, and through SOAR, Heaven Sound was, was, was birthed. And now we're, we have a group of five members that are, just in, that are just on fire to inspire the youth to sing and praise to our Lord Jesus Christ. Maria, can you tell us a little bit about how your experience has been in the group? I know that there's another, another female in the group, but basically right now it's only you. So how, how do you manage being in the group with, with amongst other men? Um, I, like my brother said, oh, my brother Jesse, um, he actually introduced me to the ministry. And uh, I'm, I'm quite young, I'm 19. Uh, I came when I was 17. So music, you know, singing, I didn't think of any about that. You know, I was thinking of, you know, maybe I'll be introduced to this new ministry. I wasn't quite, you know, um, into it at first. But then when I opened my heart to God, I realized that there's a calling for me. And I felt that, you know, maybe singing's the way to go. I always sang in the shower, you know, people don't really like to show, you know, the singing side. But one day my brother Jesse said, you know what, sister, I think, I think you should join me. I, I have this plan and I want others to, to come together and to make a group, uh, a music band. And I was like, you know what, it sounds crazy, but I'm with you. <laughs> so right, so, now, right yeah. now you said that you opened your heart. Yeah. How, how did you do that? How did you manage to get to that place? I did that through singing. So okay. at first I was very, um, I was very uh, stiff when I sang. You know, I, I was really nervous, but as I sang and I, I gradually became... I learned that singing and praising is, there's different things. There's singing and there's praising the Lord. And praising the Lord, I don't know, is just this different sensation. Your whole body feels this, this uh, like, a, like an ecstasy of the Holy Spirit. It's, it's completely different. And when I felt that, I know I, from then on, I just knew that that's the way I want to sing to God. No one else, just to Him. 
So that's when I knew that was my calling. And I'm so proud to be a part of this band. And yeah, since then, you know, my brothers, I consider them my brothers too, and my sister Melissa. And it's, it's, it's really the family environment that we provide that makes me so grateful to be a part of it because I do, I do feel like I belong here. So yes, yeah, yeah no, I, I totally understand what, what you mean. Right now that you said that it's a family environment, I'm sure you all have a family at home and you have other responsibilities. So I'm going to ask Andrew back there. Andrew, how has it been for you to deal with your family obligations or your life obligations and then being part of Heaven Sound and being power, part of the sower? You know, um, one, one thing I think a lot of people would say is whenever they're trying to, let's just say they're trying to work out or they have stuff to do is that they don't have time. I think what's most important is that, you know, I make the time, you know, to go ahead and put those rehearsals in, you know, whenever I'm practicing at home and uh, things like that, you know. And John, what about for you? How has it been to be a part of this, of this ministry? What is it that this, the Heaven Sound has done for you? Well, I'm the newest member to the band. Uh, I have like a couple, a couple months and what Heaven Sound has uh, given, I, I feel like it was a, a gift from God because prior to me joining the group, I was asking the Lord, like, hey, uh, I want to be able to share this gift that you have given me. Uh, I am a worship leader in my own parish. I, I, I have a young, uh, young a youth group, and I uh, praise God there with my teenagers and everything. And I just told God, I want to share this more. And then, like, in a matter of, like, a week, he answers, and I, I bumped into uh, Jesse, and then we started, hey, I need a basis. I was like, well, I play a little bass, and then it, it, it just... Heaven Sound has give, it's a gift, and it's not a gift that it's going to stop because it, it came from the Lord, and that's what I believe Heaven Sound is. So from everybody's conversation, Jesse, I'm hearing that you're the mastermind behind this operation. So I want to ask you, was there any preparation, any prayer that you did, anything that you think has made it a difference for you to be able to guide the other members into this band? To be quite honest, um, I've I prayed a lot. I prayed a lot. You know, um, before Sower was in the picture, a group of young adults were just meeting together, and all we were doing was meeting together to pray, to reflect, and coming. Out during this time, I was coming back from college. I was away from my family. Coming back from college, coming back to South Los Angeles area. I looked around me and I, I didn't really see a lot of action. I didn't really see a lot of young adults, English ministries. So I told myself, man, who's going to do anything about this? I looked around and I looked up at God and I told myself, it is up to us to do something. This is our time. And so I put it up in prayer, you know, we, together with Sister Melissa, we reflected and we pushed hard. And, and don't get me wrong, there's been our tough times where there was only a few... Uh, people that came to visit SOAR or we didn't have a, a full band and there's been our hard times but we know that God has our back and God is with us we have and we share and we love Godfidence you know in our music in the way we talk in the way we laugh in the way we fellowship we really try to give out Godfidence uh, it's one thing that our band is uh, the hashtag of our band we love, we have that confidence, but with God, that confidence. And so that little things like that, we put together and we just really look to inspire each other. We're all young and we want to do something within our community. And that's how Heaven Sound was birthed. I cannot take all the credit. All these people right here have a major part, including our sister Melissa. And it's just a team effort, effort that we've, we've done to just really give ourselves to our Lord Jesus Christ. I could definitely feel the passion from, from all four of you, and I'm sure Melissa is the same way, and I could sense that you guys just want to work, and you want to put yourselves out there and serve our Lord, which is amazing. Earlier you said that you didn't know yourself a lot of English um, Christian music, so I want to ask, is that what you guys usually perform, songs written by other artists, or do you guys write your own music now? You know, that's a great question. Actually, when we first started off, I want to say the first 30 songs we ever learned were uh, Christian songs that uh, we got from other bands, from other artists. Uh, but then it got to the point where we actually, we have big plans. We have big ideas. You know, we want to be a part of CDJ. We want to be a part of all these congresos and retreats that are around us. And we really just sat down and reflected and we told ourselves, how can we make ourselves different? And we decided, we, we realized that we need to start writing our own music. So that's actually actually why we're super excited to be here today because the four songs we're going to show you guys are songs that we have all written and composed together as a band and that's actually something it, um, I want to share with not just with you but the world whoever's watching um, you know we're, we're working on writing music we're working we're going to be hitting the uh, 
uh, the studio soon, and we look forward to uh, sharing our first album with with the Lord and with the world because we want to also just be unique. So yes, we have we do have a list of 30 songs that are from other bands, from other musicians. However, we do have a list right now of eight songs that we have composed, and we're looking to write even more. Congratulations! I, I know personally that's that's not something easy. It's not. It, it, you just can't get a pen and paper and start, especially when you have five different minds that are working on that task. So my question is going to be for John. Um, I think you're the oldest one in the group, correct? Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, I am. <laughs> okay, so you said that you were, um, you also have your youth ministry, right, yes. that, that you're a, a coordinator of. So how has it been for you to, especially when you guys started writing the songs, how has it been for you to guide the other members? Because even though Jesse is the one that's always, you know, ready to take the lead, I feel like your guidance is probably what they use the most. Uh, I'm also, uh, I'm married. Uh, my wonderful wife, Jessica, I have three kids. So I think that maturity does come in hand. Um, I think it, it just has been... Um, through trial and error, through my walk, uh, I'm only 29. I'm not that old, <laughs> but maybe ya se me ven las canas. But, <laughs> but um, just what I've lived through in my life, and just walking with my fellow brothers and sisters in in, in ministry, or just uh, people that I'm walking with, um, I'm able to share that um, gift. I've been uh, playing guitar and music for. 15 years, so, and many of my brothers and sisters, they're musically in tune, so they help me, so when we start writing, I take that, I take that in, in, uh, into, into thought, and God just starts putting sen sentences or just phrases or imagery, it starts sometimes with imagery, I was sharing with Jesse the other day, it's like yes. a song that has a, a, a rocker chick walking and confused, and it's like, that's part of my scene because I, I grew up uh, listening to rock and metal and this and that, but it's the, it's the outcast that I start thinking and reflecting in, and I share that, and they, they pick up, they're like, oh, me too, or this is my experience. It's just sharing what I've lived through and what I've learned, and I love it because they're receptive, and we're able, and now we have these eight wonderful songs that are originals, so... Yeah, I'm definitely glad you asked him that question because John is someone that I do go to and to really just brainstorm. I remember, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I, I went to his house and I sat down with him, and I was just, you know, throwing my ideas at him, and he was throwing his ideas back. You know, with the next song, we want it to be about this rocker chick that comes into church that doesn't know about God. How can I introduce this person without saying Jesus yet? How can I introduce this person to God without bringing, you know, him out? right away right so we were just brainstorming we were writing sentences we were in, we weren't writing lyrics yet we were just completely brainstorming and i'm i'm glad you asked him that because he is the person i go to when it comes to let me gather these ideas this next song what should it focus on because it's not just about writing lyrics off the top it's about really reflecting really praying to god and asking what do you want this next song to be about and that's one thing we all really focus on in our music like we want to bring life into it but not just sing it but you know have a meaning behind it have a story behind it and um you're gonna see that in the songs that we're gonna sing today so i'm really i'm really excited to you know for for the plans that you guys have for heaven sound it's amazing i want to ask you do you i i personally don't listen to a lot of music in, in english but so i'm gonna ref, refer to a lot of hispanic artists do you plan on sometime becoming maybe like alfareros or like john carlo you know get nominated for the grammys is that what you see heaven sound becoming or do you see heaven sound becoming that group that leads others into prayer that leads others into becoming uh, musicians themselves, you know, maybe somebody from your, your youth ministry will join the band next. What is it that you guys see? Both areas are, are great. Both areas draw, you know, more people to, to our religion, more people onto the feet of our Lord. So what is it that you guys have in, man, in mind for Heaven Sound? At this point where we're at, I feel that, you know, we're all, everybody that's a part of this, including Melissa, you know, it's, of course, we like to we have all these plans and these ideas, right? Oh, we want to do this and we want to do that. But in the end, when we come together and we pray, we just tell ourselves, in the end, wherever God wants us, we will be. Wherever God, you know, like, because we ask, we ask God all the time, what do you want us to do next? What's the next move? What should we do? 
And we let God give us that answer. So it, there's been a lot of times where, you know, of course, we would love to be known as a big band, you know, or, you know, infamous bands. But, you know, it's, it, when it comes really down to it, we just want to bring people closer to God. And if that's staying at Sorele and praising our Lord Jesus Christ there, we will do that. If that's playing at the next CDJ, we will do that. If that's playing at the next event locally or out of state, we will be there. You know? I really love that, that answer. I think definitely. that's definitely what should be in the mind right, of all of us. So definitely. So I'm going to ask you now really quickly five questions So for all of you to answer. So we'll just go over like that, starting with John. Your favorite saint? Uh, for me, it will be uh, St. John Paul II. I had the opportunity exactly four years today to go to World Youth Day to Poland and visit his homeland and just able to dig into his life and just how many uh, boundaries he broke. And the one that was extreme was the victim to attacker. And I think many know when he got shot and he still was able to go to the prison and forgive his attacker and, and actually become friends with him. That really is, it inspires me a lot. And I choose him as my saint because uh, I'm still trying to do that as well. We, we're human, people do things to us, we do things uh, to other people, and he's able to show me that love and compassion uh, when he was alive and what he did, and him starting War with Youth Day, that gave me the opportunity to be together in 2.3 million Catholics together in one location that was in Poland that time that I, I was able to get that opportunity but that's why I choose St. John Paul II. Maria, I would ask you your favorite scripture. Favorite scripture? Um, definitely would have to be the one where it says, um, I, forgive me for not knowing the specific. Um, okay, it's part, okay, yeah. But the one is, um, the Lord is my shepherd, whom shall I fear? Yes. That one is very uh, powerful to me because we all fall in our fears sometimes. And we're like he said, we're human. And in the end, I feel like, when we look back to God, you know, we shall not fear nothing because he is the light. He's the, he's the shepherd yes. that will, light, That's uh, will lead us. So, yeah, yeah, that one's a beautiful scripture, definitely. Andrew, I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite prayer? Our Father. Okay. <laughs> it's the most basic, but the best one, definitely. And Jesse, I'm going to ask you finally, um, if you could send a message to all of our young viewers. You said that when you, when you got the calling for this, you were coming back from college. And sometimes in our heads, we're all young here. Sometimes we feel that we're not enough. Sometimes we feel that whatever we know how to do, it may be too little to serve. So what message would you give to those out there that want to do something like this and are scared to do so? The message I would like to give to those that are out there thinking of doing something great, whether it be in a band or serving in your church or just serving in your community, you are the leader of tomorrow. You know, our parents, our grandparents, our uncles, our aunts, you know, I know we, growing up we used to look up to them, they used to make all the moves. It's our turn now. So please, I encourage you to pray. Open your Bible, open your heart, and really reflect. And know that you have a community around you that is in desperate need of you to be a part of the Catholic Church. So don't be afraid. Be courageous and love, love hard, my brothers and sisters, and God will do the rest. Well, thank you all so much for being here in Musicos de Hand the Way Out. Where can our friends find you? Is there an Instagram, a Twitter? Yeah, we do have an Instagram and Facebook account, and you could follow us at Heaven Sound Official, and we will keep you guys updated with everything to date, so please check us out. Okay. Is there anything else anybody wanted to add? We're good. I think I'll add one more thing. I'll talk to the people that have already been uh, doing things at their church uh, right here in this parish. You do matter. You have done great things. Continue. All the work that you have done has not gone unforeseen. Even if it's just uh, creating a prayer group and it's just two, three people, that's all that matters. There's two souls that are right there. So Amen. all you people that, uh, brothers and sisters that have been doing, nothing is too small. Just keep on fighting and keep on worshiping God. Let him guide you. And anything you've done matters, even to the smallest thing that you've done. 
And one last thing, don't forget, you guys, if you guys are looking for a young adult ministry to follow, you please follow Soar LA. Uh, once again, it's at Soar LA. You can look us up on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a group that's just fired to praise our Lord Jesus Christ, we're located in the South LA. We have virtual uh, meetings uh, every Thursday from 7.30 to 9.30. We get together, we praise our Lord Jesus Christ, and we have a speaker. And if you're just looking for anything, you know, I encourage you to look to your local Catholic churches to find something because we need to be a part of this community and we need to reach out. Hi, you guys. This is Heaven Sound. We're super excited to be here to play music. All these four songs that you guys are about to hear are new songs that we have produced ourselves. This first song we're going to go ahead and play. It's called Ave. We want to dedicate it to our mother, to the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ because we love her so much. She, she stays here in our heart. And we know she's transcending for us and she's covering us with her mantle. And Amen. we just want to pay our respects to her right now. So this first song is called Ave.
with this next song that we're about to sing. We want to pick up the pace. This song was written by us. It's called I Praise. The purpose of this song is to get the people that are hearing and, and seeing us to move, to shake their hands, to clap their hands. So in the beginning of the song, when you hear me say, go to the left or to the right, we're going to be moving to the left. And then we're going to be moving to the right. You know, kind of like Baja Rio. Yeah, you guys move right on that one. So we're doing, it's the same idea. When I say to the left, we're going to be raising our hand in the air. We're going to be going to the left. And then when I say to the right, we're going to be going to the right. Amen? Amen. Let's get this song started. So for this next song that we're about to sing, in the, in the interview, uh, this song was brought up. This one's about someone that just walks into church and ha knows nothing about God. They're sitting in the aisle. They, they're not really sure what they're there for, why they're there. But as a brother and a sister of Jesus Christ, we're walking up to them. And this is the song we're going we're gonna to sing and really just say to them, right, this is my expression of how I can introduce God to someone that doesn't know him.
Let me tell you about my struggle. Let me tell you about my past. Let me tell you because these things will last. I was weak and I was tempted. Just like you, yeah, I was skeptic. Little did I know these things will not last. Your depression will not last. Your disease will not last. You got me singing. Jesus Christ, because that's why we are here right now. Heaven Sound is here, not for us. We're here for God. Amen? Amen. Amen. For this last song we're going to sing for you guys, this song is called You Are Here. And this song was inspired to me while going on a trip and just being in nature and just looking all around me. I realized, you know, wherever you're at, you know, whether you're in nature, whether you're at home, whether you're in church, whether you're in the parking lot, wherever you are, God is there. Just all you have to do is pray to him and exalt his name and let him know that you know he is there. Amen? Amen. Amen. When my eyes can't see, Lord, I can't Shepherd 
in despair In my lows and in my highs, yeah, he is it Every challenge, every downfall, he is it prayer I proclaim, Jesus Christ is King, close your eyes and know our King is King, our King is King, Jesus is King. Señor 